What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna go over basically how to fix a slice for all you guys out there struggling with that big over the top move and that left to right ball flight. I'm just gonna do a video straight forward on what I've learned on how to fix a slice and how I can help you guys out because a slice, it's, it's not a good shot. There's a couple key tips that I've learned and key things that I've noticed throughout people's swings and everything, doing these Instagram breakdowns and stuff that I've done on my stories, that uh, there's a lot of similarities with all the people that struggle with the slice. So basically, I today, I wanna go over three key tips for helping you fix that slice and get on track with your game. Let's get into this. All right, guys, let's dive right into this. So first tip I'm gonna give you guys, this is not really a tip, but first fundamental I wanna give you guys to fix that slice is making sure your grip is good. There's already a Good Good Labs video out there on the grip, but this is just a quick little recap, and I'm actually gonna go a little bit stronger with this grip so it closes down your club face to get rid of that slice. So, first thing guys, we wanna make sure that grip is down in the fingers here. So they put it basically in this palm here, and what happens is the club rolls inside. And that's where that over the top move comes from, but we'll talk about that. I wanna make sure you guys are getting that grip right here in the fingers, and then on top with this hand, and this left thumb here can go slightly over to the right. So it's gonna look like this from this view. I want this emblem right here to be facing slightly upward. So like this, if you guys look at it from this view, this emblem should be pointed slightly up and this thumb should be on the right side. So this is a little bit stronger of a grip position in your left hand. This is gonna close down that club face. That's the first key to getting rid of the slice. That is the first key fundamental right there in getting rid of the slice is making sure that grip is right here in the fingers. When you grip the club, put it right in those fingers there and on top and make sure that this emblem of your glove is facing to the sky a little more. This thumb can go slightly over to the right, but that's the first thing. I want that grip to be in a nice, strong position. All right, we also got to talk about the right hand real quick to complement the left hand. The right hand needs to go just a little bit more under. So it's not like this. I don't want that right arm under. I want it a little bit more under right here. I don't want this right arm on top a ton. A little bit more under with this right hand. That is a good little grip position right here. That's gonna be a strong position, but that is the grip position there. Once the grip is set good, guys, the next thing that I've noticed after doing, I don't know if a lot of you guys know, I've been doing um, a lot of Instagram stories, looking at people's swings, and I see a very common move with everybody, and that is when they get over the ball right here, no matter what kind of grip they have, they tend to take the club a little bit inside here on the takeaway, and once you get the club in here, it's a natural move to come over the top. So what we gotta do, once we get our grip good, we're gonna get into the ball. I want you guys to make sure you're keeping that club right here outside. If you keep the club outside, you'll naturally wanna go back to the inside more. So it's, it's like a reaction. You don't wanna take the club in here because you're gonna wanna come over the top. What I want you guys to feel is that club stay outside your hands, so if anything, you come more from the inside. I mean, that's the one thing I've noticed more than anything. I say it a million times when I'm breaking down people's swings on Instagram and on my stories, is their takeaway starts rolling inside. And that's a lot to do with having the wrong grip to start. But those are the two things right there, guys. The last thing, I'm gonna hit a couple shots for you guys, and I'm gonna put down two alignment sticks. So I'm just gonna use clubs for today's video. When you guys are at the range, the one club is gonna go slightly at your target, and the next club is going to go to the right, exaggerated. So it's gonna go on an angle like this. You have your one club right here at your target. This is going over the red flag, and then you have this club going out in this direction. So the idea behind that is, once we get everything set, grip, and we're focusing on our takeaway, our main focus has to be swinging along that club pointed to the right. So we want our path to go out to the right more and not be coming over the top. So we're gonna go over the quick couple tips here, fixing that slice. Here we go, first one, making sure this grip's good. I'm gonna get it down in these fingers here and on, and then, my main focus now is keeping that club slightly outside on the takeaway, right here. I don't want it getting in here. If I can keep it outside, I'll be more likely to come from the inside as a natural reaction. You don't want to take it inside, I've said that a lot, but 
That is the death move. Once that club rolls inside, that's the absolute death move. It's awful having watching people do that because I know what's gonna happen the second that club moves inside, it's gonna come right over the top. So the other club there is just a visual. I don't want you guys having a million thoughts when you get over the ball trying to fix your slice. I want it to just be the grip and then focusing on that takeaway and keeping it outside so you reroute it more to the inside. That's a visual for your path where I, it should feel like it needs to be. I'm gonna hit a couple shots here and just really trying to hit some nice draws. Solid. It's my mind. I'm just trying to keep that club outside here and really focus on getting that path to come more from the inside on the downswing. But it all starts with the takeaway. Jack Nicholas once said, the first couple of feet of your swing is the most important. Because if you can't get that initial start of your swing and your takeaway, the rest of your swing is gonna be set up for compensations and a lot of extra movement. So you can just get that takeaway good with that strong grip. I'm telling you guys, you're gonna start naturally coming from the inside. It may not happen overnight, but just trust it. I'm just gonna hit a couple balls here. Just working on my swing, going over this red flag. I have a seven iron right now. Nice little range session going on. Roll some B-roll footage, just a nice little range session. All right, that's a couple seven irons there. I'm working on that, guys. Just trying to keep that takeaway a little bit more outside. My tendency is to get it inside, but I've played a lot of golf, so when I do take it inside, I usually don't come over the top. I kind of come back on that same line that I took it back, but that's just from playing a lot of golf. When you're first starting, you don't want that takeaway rolling inside. But I'm gonna move on to like a to my hybrid now and hit a couple of those, and then I'm gonna hit a couple drivers, and that's gonna be the main club. All right, here's the club as the visual. That's where the path needs to feel like it's going, guys. That's the path. But I'm not really gonna think about that. I'm just kind of swinging. That's just the visual in the back of my head. Got my grip good, takeaway here, not in here, right there, and I can swing. All right guys, this is the main club. When people think about a slice, this is what comes to mind is the driver. So we're gonna hit a couple drives here, focusing on the same exact things, trying to get rid of that slice, making sure that grip is good and down in these fingers and the takeaway is staying slightly outside. Butter cut there. That was actually, that was a nice high draw. And in my mind, it's always good. I mean, I normally do hit a draw, so this doesn't really, this is not a huge issue that I'm facing, but even to have that visual out there, I always like to feel like I'm swinging slightly out to the right. I never want to be coming over the top and swiping across it. That's what obviously causes the slice, but I don't ever want to be doing that. So even having that visual down is good for anybody, just for that path to move a little bit more to the right if you are struggling with being steep and also coming over the top. Well guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. This is a, just a really short video, but this is just something I knew, I know a lot of you guys are probably struggling with because it's the most common shot in golf is to hit that big slice when you're starting out. So this was just a, me sharing a little bit of my knowledge with you guys and trying to help you out. If you guys did enjoy that video, hit that like button, really helps out. Let me know in, in the comments any other instructional videos you'd like to see. This probably, most of them always go in the Good Good Labs, but I just wanted to do this on my personal channel and help all you guys out there that are struggling with that big slice. But until next time guys, peace out.